everybody. This is Cheryl from Little Piece of Heaven Farm. Um, today we're in the kitchen and we're going to can up some uh, potatoes and carrots, uh, rebel style. Um, we're going to use some onion soup mix in the jars and uh, let's get this show on the road. We're going to use cork jars today and what I'm going to do is put a tablespoon of the onion soup mix and you can use any onion soup mix that you can afford. You do you. And I just put it in the bottom of the jar and what I'm going to do is put potatoes on the bottom. They're already been rinsed and I put a little uh, fresh fruit in them when I was letting them sit while I was getting the video ready. I'm going to put some the potatoes in and then carrots. And I got them in pretty good sized chunks. Then we're going to do an inch head space with uh, water. Everything is raw packed. So, uh, we're going to bring up the pressure canner real slow. So it's going to take a little bit longer process. But hey, that's okay. I'd rather have that than have some siphon out and maybe break a seal or something. So I'm really stuffing them in here. pieces and this is just lukewarm water. Uh, it's not not really hot or anything. It's just enough to help uh, break up this onion soup mix to dissolve it. But I do have um, my lids soaking in some warm water just to get the seal soft. Oh, I need to the bubble first and somehow I lost my little debubbler but this would work so it just go around and try to get as many bubbles out as you can He can go into a different jar. Pop this off with a little bit more water. And always wipe your jars with vinegar so you can get a good seal. And now your lid. and just finger tight. I'm going to shake it up a little bit to get this soup mixed around in the jar. I like putting it on the bottom. Let's see. Looks pretty good. And then into the canner. I'll do one more jar. And then um, we'll pause and I'll get the rest of the jars up. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to sweeten it. Remember, we're up to an inch head space. That's this rim right here, okay? And then we're going to debubble. So help move the carrots and stuff around and get them in play. And wipe your rim. And lid. And a ring. Finger tight. And then just shake it up. Get all your soup mix. Try to mix it in there. Okay. And into the canner. Okay, folks. I'll be back when I had the canner filled. Okay, I'm back, everybody. And I had to cut up an extra carrot. Um to finish out my seventh jar. Uh, I ran out of potatoes. But anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna get these in the canner and get them going. Um, they're gonna pressure can uh, for 45 minutes and um, we'll come back when uh, everything is all done um, with the process. I'll get everything going right now. It's going to be on a slow pressure buildup. So I don't try not to have any um, siphoning, but uh, we always keep our fingers crossed for that. So let's get this going. And I will see you guys back in 45 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it's finished processing, and I just took the lid off, and I'm taking out the first jar, it smells pretty good. Wow, that looks pretty nice. Still hot and bubbly. Does not look good. I think it's great. Yeah. 
this is the all carrot one. The last jar that went in. Looks pretty good. Looks to be no siphoning, which is awesome. I love that when that doesn't happen. Uh, ooh, nice popping. That's exciting. Okay, folks, this is this is it of, a, of the canning. Of carrots and potatoes, the rebel style method um, with onion soup mix. Well, anyway, um, thanks for watching, and um, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.